Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a look at sunspots, coronal holes, the hurricane, and the forecast for it, and an excellent paper on glacial cycle inception, the oceans, and why this warm interglacial period we're in now is probably coming to an end. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find small pops with minor CMEs left and right sides. But they are small, and they're not aimed at Earth. The coronal hole is turning through, surrounded by plasma filaments. All is quiet geomagnetically here at Earth, so let's take a peek at the sunspots and find we are nearly blank. The bigger spots have turned away and the smaller ones have all but decayed to nothing. Solar flaring risk is extremely low today in favor of the filaments and the watch for the coronal hole solar wind stream. Speaking of which, NOAA is now forecasting the arrival of the solar wind enhancement on Tuesday. This equatorial coronal hole is basically past the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes and we're now waiting for its geomagnetic impact. Now, for those who recall, we said that if the solar wind stream arrived quickly enough, it could steer Hurricane Aaron further westward and into the United States, as long as it hadn't already bent northward. If indeed NOAA is correct and the solar wind does not arrive until Tuesday, the storm will already be on a path up the Atlantic and will not be able to be steered by the equatorial electrojet. At this point, it simply looks like the enhanced solar wind will not arrive in time. But that's a good thing, remember. Would rather Aaron just peter out over the water. Today's top story hits the AMOC, the deep Atlantic circulation, and its collapse at the inception of the glacial cycle about 115,000 years ago. Not only do we see AMOC collapses during Heinrich events, but at the end of the last warm interglacial, like the one we're in now, it happened too. The glacial cycle has Earth fairly warm for about 10 to 12,000 years. Then we spend about 90 to 100,000 years in glacial conditions. We have been in this warm interglacial about 12,000 years. We are due for the drop in the AMOC is collapsing once again. File that under the coincidences you shouldn't ignore section of your memory. Folks, the next event at Observer Ranch is Saturday, Pole Shift Conference. It is filling up fast. We added an Observer Meetup event on August 30th. It's like Observer Family Reunion style and a dedicated Q&A session as well. We've got a Pole Shift Conference next month, Founders Weekend with Dr. Dunning. And then in October and November, the schedule is full. There is something every weekend, including a prepper event to kick off October. Pole Shift Conference, Weapons Training, Observer Speed Dating, Round 2, November 7th and 8th. Folks, we had observers make connections at the last one. Very much expecting the same this time as well. Book your trip to come see us at ObserverRanch.com, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.